A community is saying goodbye to an American Indian leader tonight. Reporter Sherelle Moore was at the wake service of Dennis J. Banks and shares with us how he will be remembered. I love my brother. He's only been dead three days and already I miss him. Civil rights activist Dennis J. Banks passed away Sunday at the age of 80, although his legacy lives on in the community. A very well-respected elder. You know, he always uh, championed a lot of Native, Native American issues as well as all, all, all races and all tribal people. He was there always standing up for the rights of the people. Dennis is a very spiritual man and uh, a lot of Native peoples are being reacquainted with the old ways. And that's just the legacy that Dennis Banks is leaving. Banks was the co-founder and leader of the American Indian Movement. He fought during the Civil Rights Movement and spent most of his life empowering indigenous people around the world. He taught us many things to be proud of our heritage. And we want to carry on those teachings. Dennis was a very unique, soft-spoken man, you know, he, uh, he was very intelligent. And when he spoke, you know, people listened to what he had to say. In his free time, people who knew him say Banks loved spending time with his family and that he was a spiritual man who thrived on tradition. This is one of the qualities that he had is to be able to bring people together in, in a peaceful manner to seek justice and to seek the truth. In Federal Dam, Minnesota, Shrum Moore, Lakeland News. Another wake service for Dennis Banks will be held tomorrow at Battle Point Community Center. The funeral service is set for this Saturday. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.